Hey guys, welcome back. It's James again here in the shop in Toronto. Just wanted to go over using the ferrule cutters for cutting a step-down ferrule. And I don't know how many of you guys have used a step-down ferrule. Uh, it's a little more complicated than using the regular Super Swiss. So I always recommend Super Swiss for new builders. But once you've studied some rods and you realize how nice and sleek the step-down ferrule looks when it's in place, you know, it's much smaller in diameter than the Super Swiss. It doesn't look as bulky. And if you like the looks of the Payne or the Leonard, this is the, the type of ferrule that they used. So what's a step-down ferrule? Well, it's a ferrule that the slide is a smaller diameter than the outside of the, of the ferrule. So this is a 14 step-down. So you have a 14 hole, 14 slide, a 14 hole, and another 14 hole. So when you're making your, preparing the, the rod section, you're going to have to prepare your rod section in two steps. So it's going to go boom, out, and up. So it's a little more difficult to make, especially when you don't have ferrule cutters. So the rule of thumb on these cutters is, is if this is a 14 hole, then the diameter inside the slide is two sizes down. So it'll be 14, 12. And I've measured them with some pin gauges. Pin gauges, you can see here, are just a number of um, precision diameter rods so I can accurately measure to within a thou a, a hole. It's a lot easier than trying to use a, a hole gauge for small holes. So what I found on this one is that the 218 will allow a 217 pin and the 12, which should be 187, will allow a 186 pin. So when we cut them with the ferrules, they'll just be a tiny bit oversized, you know, roughly a bit of thou. So we're just going to have to touch them down with a file to get them to fit. The other thing to notice is that the smaller diameter step on the bamboo rod is not just this distance, it's this distance plus some more. So I had to measure it uh, with something to find out what the step is. And I noticed that the big step only goes down that far. So I've measured everything out on the rod. So I have the, the small step, which is going to be a 12, the big step, which is going to be a 14, and then the mini step for the ferrule tabs um, is this last sort of, you know, maybe 5 sixteenths of an inch. Now, this rod is the same one I used in the other demo, so it's getting a little bit fat, but it should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck it up in the lathe I'm just going to chuck it up to here, not to here, because I'm going to cut this step first, and then I'm going to loosen the chuck on the lathe, and I'm going to bring this out. Now, someone that's really fussy might say you're going to lose some concentricity, but my chuck's within a thou, and um, I think that's a safer way to go, especially if you're doing a tip that was a 12, and now you're going down to a 10, or 9 going down to a 7. Like, it can become very challenging to make this smaller diameter pin. So we're going to make the smaller diameter pin first, then we're going to move it in the chuck, and we're going to do the second step. So this one here, I'm going to start with a uh, 15, and then I'm going to go to a 14, then a 13, and then a 12. And then up here, I'm going to go with a, a 15, and then the 14, and then I'm going to use the bigger one up here. So it's going to be a progressive uh, cut to make it smaller and then we're gonna it probably still won't fit so then I'm gonna have to just gently take down these two diameters here to uh, get it to fit and I'm gonna start to use my micrometer to measure the rod section because it's gonna be round especially here it's gonna be perfectly round up here it won't be perfectly round but here I'm gonna just do a perfectly round pin that measures just shy of uh, of 186 alrighty so we're gonna go over to the lathe and and check it out 